you'll notice it's missing some parts. Uh, my brother even took the trusses. He cut the trusses out. Hello there, little ducky. Well, what's up, guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and I'm back over at our uh, abandoned future merch facility property. You know, abandoned house property that we purchased. Um. A lot's changed, so I'm going to take you inside, and uh, good news, it's fixing to come down. And by fixing to come down, I don't mean like right now, but in the next couple days, that excavator is going to knock this house down, and we're just about ready to do that. My brother and my uncle have been over here for four or five days, pretty much straight. They've just about robbed it down to the bare bones. We've sold everything we can sell except the propane heater. I've had, I put it on Facebook Marketplace. It's a good heater, but, uh, you know, the one from living room, the fireplace insert, just, it's kind of probably the wrong time of year to be trying to sell a fireplace, but we'll do something with it. Um, got a subscriber that's going to be coming today that's wanting to purchase the, there's a bandsaw out in that old barn. Thing's probably 60 years old. It's just a, a pulley driven bandsaw with an electric motor on there i just made up 60 years by the way i have no clue it's really old uh we'll probably have to run a buzzard out of there <laughs> but uh anyways let's go take a look at the house go take a peek it looks a little bit different than the last time you guys saw it and uh i'm kind of battling a chest cold lately it's probably uh more of a a mold issue than a cold but you know it is what it is i think my brother was going to try to tear off some siding for some reason i'm not real sure but the original siding on this house was this uh lap siding i, I don't know what you call it but that's exactly what's on my my brother's house across the highway but they just covered it up but he has uh pulling all the flooring out um some of the stuff off the walls doors you name it uh, this whole living room built-in section is gone, um, but check out the mold. This house has a huge mold problem, huge foundation problem, probably why I'm sick, but so uh, check out the crack between the wall and the floor, um, huge issue. You can see where the wall is separating from that wall there. The whole wall is pushed out. Um, Kitchen floors are gone. The only thing I'm a little, eh, I wish I could have found somebody that would take the cabinets. I don't really need them. Don't want to put them in the new place, but they're really nice cabinets. Even, heck, the lowers even have the, the pull-out drawers. Look at this. Those are good old cabinets. I just haven't been able to find anybody that really wanted them bad enough to come get them and take them down. But, uh, the uh, the sewing patterns that were in this cabinet in here um, are gone. We found a lady that was interested in those. Sold the whole cabinet with what probably 500 sewing patterns for like 25 dollars. But uh, still a few things in here. Just just trash really. Not much of value left. Every time I get started trying to do something. Some guy keeps showing up wanting more stuff. My brother has literally, he's trying to tear the house down one piece at a time, but every piece of scrap junk he can find. He should have been born in like the 1800s, early 1900s. It just would have fit in in the society a lot better, I think. He decided he needs this, uh, busted up disc that came apart while i was trying to cut it out of the trees the other day i don't know if there's anything salvageable there but uh i was going to send it to scrap he said no
one in every family, right? <laughs> I wish I could just follow him around all day, every day. He would be the most entertaining YouTube channel you guys have ever seen. <sighs> I'm not kidding. But he's a, I, I love him. He's my brother. He's special. Different character. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Back in the house. So, uh, bathroom, nothing left of the bathroom, central heat and air unit's gone, the water heater, everything pretty well gone. He did fall through the floor once, the ladder did, he said. Um, the back porch back here, we've pretty much got everything out of any value. There's been so many people, we've had, I mean, everybody just stopping by, filtering through and, you know, just finding anything they might want. There's some more cabinets that are nothing wrong with. A good set of cabinets. Just really don't need them. Those are bigger on that side. Those doors are big over here. Anyways, I really, really wish this was in good shape. Kind of, kind of stinks. If this little, if this little stove right here was in good shape, because it's only like, Mm, maybe 24 inches across the top it would be perfect for the cabin i'm not going to say it, it couldn't still don't get me wrong it probably could be uh <laughs> retrofitted and modified that's not me guys i'm sorry but it would have been great for the cabin so the back porch um you'll notice it's missing some parts uh, my brother even took the trusses. He cut the trusses out. Uh, the back door, there's a set of French doors. All the windows, except one. Um, one window got broken. But uh, there's not much holding the back porch up anymore. He and the rest of this is pretty well just trash. Just trash. So the shop out here, I mean, everyone has gone through it and gathered and picked and see there's some stuff my brother has loaded in a tub but uh there's not much left let's just say that pretty much everything's been picked over and picked through and we're down to just bare bones trash for the most part so it's been an interesting uh couple weeks going through everything looking over everything trying to find what's got value what doesn't what's scrap and what's trash and pretty much we're pretty close to completely finished trying to salvage and scrap and scramble and save anything we can um i mean my brother is set on windows and doors for a while uh the windows that were in here were in really good shape but um probably hopefully in the next two days, two, three days, depending on the weather, we'll, we'll be tearing the house down and tearing the shop down, cleaning everything up. The reason he has the excavator and the bulldozer here is because he's going to use the excavator to tear everything down. Um, really, the bulldozer is not here to knock the house and the buildings down. But as soon as we get all of the, the house hauled off and cleaned up... Um, we're going to start the pad for the new building and that means we got to tear out a few fences and do some things so the plan is after it gets the house down start tearing out some fences with the excavator really fences this direction more than anything because that's the direction we're probably going to go with our building don't know for sure just yet exactly where it will sit i think we should walk out on the porch what do you guys think <laughs> it's not that bad um, so the building, the new building will come this direction because it's, it's more flat to the south than to the north. And we want to put the building off to one end of the property as much as we can, instead of out in the middle. And it's not very deep. It's like a big, long rectangle. So probably move the building over here to the south side, just because of the topography more than anything. It's flat. That's the flat direction. So, we're really close. Just about got everything cleaned up, everything done we can do here. And uh, trying to survive the mold. 
I'm sure there's a few more things that people will see that could have been done and could have been taken down. If it was up to my brother, he'd tear the house down one board at a time, save every stud, save every everything he could. But I'm just not a big fan of that idea. I don't have the time to mess with that. And we have obvious huge mold problems. And I'm sure underneath the house is 10 times worse than what you see inside the house. So with that being said, well, well, we won't close the front door. We won't close the door on this chapter. Uh, there is no door to close. Um, it's a shame to tear an old house down like this. I know this house is probably well over 100 years old. I really don't know. It's probably close to 110 years old from what I've been told, but it's pretty well gone. There's not a lot left. And, you know, it's, it's hard to tear someone else's home down. And I'm sure that, you know, the previous owners... I'm sure that's that's hard for her to see, but we'll, we're gonna we're gonna tear it down in a couple days and uh, get started on building something new, a fresh start on an old abandoned homestead. Okay, will you be able to hold on to that? We'll find out. Take all the dirt daubers with you. I've never yeah. seen one in belt drive. An antique hang. <laughs> Plenty of them in there, that's for sure. That's not a lot of dirt dauber. Looks just yeah. like a big sawmill. Only to say it's probably just small and vertical, huh? Probably just uh, pros up for all the dirt daubers in there. Keep them blades on them wheels in the heart. Yeah, it's still in good shape. Great shape, yeah. Just take a water hose to it. It'll be good. <laughs> yeah, you put the ends in there and the heat the ends and melt them together. Then you got to adjust them. The wheels on there to keep them on there. Look at there. Sears and Roebuck. Five guys? You know it's always... I could have yeah. <laughs> bought that 37 years ago. I was longer than that. I'll have to move your oh, switch. They put the switch right away, didn't they? Who would they? do that? Well, this cord was this long, so. Yeah. That looks just like the top. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it over there. All right. You don't need me? I don't need me. Maybe Here help you. us throw this in the truck real quick. Throw it in there? Well, I'll be careful with that. That thing might fall apart. Yeah, it might scratch the truck. Yeah, it Lay it down with the fan saw down. What's up, buddy? Hmm? Did you miss me? Hmm? What? I'm telling you guys, um, it's still uh, really hard coming home and Bella not being here. And uh, I don't care what anybody says, dogs feel it too. And this guy knows Bella's gone. And uh, <clears throat> the other day when the situation with Bella happened, we had Bella in the you know, we brought her home from the vet, and I moved her to the back of the side-by-side, the -side and uh, I let Earl kind of get up there and smell and see, move the, sh move the blanket back, and he, it scared Earl. He, he knew. And then for the next 30 minutes, he stayed right there next to the buggy. He laid down, and then, uh, you know, when DJ and Houston brought Bella over to where we were burying her, um, Earl came, you know, and I don't know if you guys saw in that video, but as soon as, as soon as I covered the grave, Earl ran right up there, and it was his buddy too. It's a, uh, it's gonna take a long, a long while to transition to her not being here, not only for us, but for this little guy too. And uh, 
that was his that was his buddy and she she taught him a lot she taught him well so uh one other thing i want to show you guys we're going to go down and feed and everything but i want to go in the house and show you because houston had a baby duck hatch out uh last night so you guys know houston had two muscovy duck eggs that were still incubating and uh so that's what this is one hatched out and the other tried but it didn't make it out of the egg so we're going to turn the incubator off today houston's got houston got his baby muscovy duck I think this was a pretty successful hatch hatch couple weeks because I would say about half of everything that we got hatched. Except the geese, you got all yeah, those. Yeah, I got all of them to hatch. Yep. So this guy has been in the uh, incubator for almost probably close to 24 hours, so I'm sure he's he or she's getting hungry and thirsty and ready to go meet his goose friends and the turkey friend. Yeah. He's, he might get a little bit bullied because he's small, but... We'll, we'll uh, keep an eye on it. We'll make sure. We just don't want to put it in a brooder by itself. It needs that we have some buddies. Yeah. He's just going to be a lot smaller than the geese. Yeah. But this is what they'll look like as a baby. But when they get older, they get big, black, and red, and white, so... And have a really ugly head. Yeah. <laughs> well, dip his beak in the water. So we have those probiotics and electrolytes in the water still so the geese are huddled up in the corner but uh, trust me they don't stay there um, they've been out moving around a bunch and it's really not cold in here they're just kind of sitting there right now but we're really gonna have to pay attention and make sure that the uh, the little duck doesn't get smashed in here in the in the goose pile but the turkey's doing good alone. Aren't right, you, buddy? Those geese are growing fast, though, aren't they, Houston? Yeah. They've only been here about a week, probably. Don't you think? Uh, close to a week. Yeah, they're close to a week old. By the way, these are not going to be gray ones. These are going to be white ones. Because... We know that by going back and watching the videos from Lester when these got laid, so. <laughs> he spit. Here. Come on. There you go. Uh, I've kind of been training the turkey a little bit. Because I get it to come right here. <laughs> I'll put it on my shoulder and he'll climb up in my hair. <laughs> You're gonna hide in your curls, huh? <laughs> Jesse, you are dirty. <laughs> you got shavings all over you, girlfriend. You dirty. And speaking of uh, animals knowing that something's not right, this one here, oh my goodness. I guess I'll just have to turn the camera around and show you hugging on Jesse. Um, in case you missed it, I don't know how you could have by now. Um, a few weeks ago, we actually lost our other little baby donkey, Jay. So this is Jesse. And we came out one day and everything was just fine. The next day I came out to check on everybody early in the morning. And Jay, something had happened to her. She passed away during the night. We did a whole entire video talking about that on DJ's channel and posted it on Facebook. So if you missed that, go check it out. But... This girl right here was really struggling for, I would say about a week after we lost Jay. And uh, she's she's just fine. She's gonna be just fine. But she is uh, 
She's very lovey right now. Yeah. Very and, affectionate. And this is the one that had all the blood problems and stuff at the start. Yeah. Yeah, Jessie had a lot of problems when she was born. She's just as healthy as, as she can be now. We, as far as we know, um, we have no idea what happened to Jay. But anyways, um, you could definitely tell she was a little bit depressed when she lost her sister. And um, even still, she's, she's very affectionate when you come in here. And I think a part of that... I'm not going to say she's lonely, but she's in here with, you know, the baby goats and RJ. But I don't think she gets the same kind of uh, animal affection that she got when she had her sister in here with her. Ain't that right, Jesse? Hmm? Are you lovey? You need a hug? You want my water bottle? You like that? Like that noise? RJ, what's up, buddy? You just sitting there chewing on your cud? It's good talk, man. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Oh, you come back for more? <laughs> you don't have to get quite that close to the camera. I'm telling you what, having RJ um, in this smaller pen has been really, really good for him. He, uh, See how much, see how close he comes to Houston. Look at that goat ramming my fence. Look at him. But having him in here in this smaller pen has been really, really good for socializing him and uh, getting him to where he'll tolerate human contact and let us, you know, touch him and pet him and just get close to him in general. It's been, uh, it's been really good for him. Girls are aggressive eaters, you know that? <laughs> you look like you're proud of something. What'd you do, Bear? You look like you're proud of yourself. Huh? You got an itch there, Skip? Well, everyone's uh, taken care of and fed and accounted for and loved on and all the things. And, you know, we, we know, I think we all know and understand living on a farm, you're going to lose animals. Even not on a farm, if you're, you know, your pets, your dogs, your cats. And sometimes these animals just uh, get a special piece of our heart and it's hard to say goodbye to them. And, uh, DJ took it really, really hard when we lost Jay, and it was hard for her to even come down to the barn and spend time with Jesse for close to a week. And finally, I was like, listen, DJ, I can see that Jesse's lonely, and she needs a little bit of extra attention. So it's it's a good healing process, I guess, for, for both of them. But uh, everything's good. We're grieving and getting over our loss and having new life on the farm, adding new babies here. Mm -hmm. That's always good, right? Yeah. So, it, uh, it's been a rough month, I guess. It's been a rough few weeks for us, and we'll get past it. We'll get over it, and uh, someday, I bet you we bring in another dog to the family because yeah. we're kind of dog people, if you guys didn't know that. Huh, Earl? And Earl doesn't know he's a dog, though. That's the thing. <laughs> Earl thinks he's just one of the kids. What were you going to say? They, we also did raise a bunch of dachshunds when... I even before I was thought of, y'all raised a bunch of mini donk, mini donksons, <laughs> miniature dachshunds. That's right. So years ago, DJ and I used to raise registered miniature dachshunds, like Gemma. We had all colors and shapes and sizes. And why is she limping? I don't know. She was running kind of goofy, wouldn't she? Yeah. But uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. But anyways, uh, work is fixing to really ramp up on the new place, or ramp, ramp up and tear down. <laughs> Uh, hopefully in the next couple of days we'll get that house knocked down and hauled off out of the way, get it disposed of and clean up the property and build a pad and on to bigger and better, newer, exciting adventures. Yes. Right? Yes. Why don't you wrap this thing up for us so I quit blabbering. Okay. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you on next video. Peace.